Hey, Lumblisters! Bounce rate, blech. Not a subject that makes anyone very happy, so let's make this short and sweet. In this super short, super actionable video, I'll walk you through what a bounce rate is, when you should be worried about it, and how to make sure to keep it as low as possible. And that's not all. At the end of this video, we have a special surprise for you. So stay tuned. I'll give you one hint. High five! All right, quick recap. What does it mean when an email bounces? If you're sending an email to a non-existent or outdated email address, it won't be able to be delivered and will thus bounce. When should you be worried about it? Well, if your bounce rate is higher than 5%, you should take action because a high bounce rate is really bad for your email domain's reputation and might have consequences for your deliverability in the long run, AKA, welcome to the spam folder. It's all trash to me. On Lemlist, you can check your bounce rate in the report section right here. Okay, now let's move on to the juicy stuff. Let's fight that bounce rate. Assemble. I've calmed down, moving on. What you want to do is to verify your list of emails that you're contacting. There is tons of tools out there that let you do that, and we've taken the time to test all of them. Fun times. You can check out our blog article about this. The link is in the description. In order to test all of those different tools, we basically created our own list of emails where we knew which ones were valid and which ones weren't, and we're able to test the accuracy of each tool by using it to verify those email addresses. Impressive. We really like ClearOut as a tool because it's easy to use and it's very accurate. It detected 799 out of 800 correct email addresses from our list. And everyone is allowed one mistake, right? Apart from Ross. We were on a break! There is also Bouncer, which is super accurate in terms of verification and also has a native integration with Lemlist, so it makes things a lot easier. The third and last example I'm going to give you in this video is the tool Emailable, which is also highly accurate. So there you go, our three favorite tools for email verification. Now, I know what you're all asking yourselves right now. Can I do this for free? I don't have any money. Well, you can. If you have your leads list on Google Sheets, for example, you can hover over each email address to see if it's linked to an actual account. It is accurate for emails hosted on Google, but it's not exactly exhaustive and also quite time consuming, but it's a free alternative. Another free option is the tool Email Permutator, but I advise you to only use it when you have a small number of leads because otherwise you'll be spending all of your time verifying emails. Just type the name of the person that you're contacting and their email domain. It'll basically give you all of the different options of that person's email address and you can then copy that list into a new email on your email account in the recipient step. Then hover over every email address to see which ones are valid, aka are linked to an actual email account. That you can basically detect by checking if the email address has a picture and or a first and last name that appears. So here, for example, you can see that Guillaume at Lemlist.com has Guillaume Mubesh as the first and last name in a profile picture, whereas this one does not have any of those, so it's probably not the right email address. So there you go. Those free options are definitely possible, but if you're dealing with a lot of email addresses, I highly advise you invest in an email verification tool. It doesn't cost the world and it's really worth it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then please don't hesitate to like and subscribe. I really hope you like this video. And no, I won't ask you to like and subscribe. I dare you to. If you don't like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel, I dare you to go into the streets and high five as many strangers as you can within two minutes and then send the video to charlotte at lamblist.com. Our Lem Martyr at one did it, so not liking and subscribing and not doing the dare will be really bad for your karma. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 Tu t'es bien battu à Rouen, bravo, bravo, bravo. <rire>
I think he did a really good job. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to let us know. Either comment underneath this video or send me a message on LinkedIn. In the meantime, stay amazing and I'll see you in the next video.